a mighty wind that comes, Yah servant 777, one of the four youth ministers of this ministry. Yahushua's truth seekers, if you need my help, if you got any question, if you want my ministering, contact me, I'll be there for you, I promise. This video is made for the praise, honor, and glory of Yahweh God and Yahushua Hamashik, the precious Hua HaKodesh. And it is entitled, Soldiers of the Cross, Criminals, Prove It That You're Not. Soldiers of the Cross, John and Sharon, just as we spoke, they have become nothing more than gossip mongers. They have become nothing more than a gossip magazine. You might as well buy a gossip magazine at the corner. As I said before, it is far more entertaining and less boring, for there is no anointing on these people, only darkness. And I laugh with Soldiers of the Cross, and all those that applaud them and back them and do all these kinds of evil. You know, I laugh with you. They tell you not to watch your videos and still I see, you know, the view counter, you know, go up and everything. <laughs> you are so incredibly loyal, you still watch your videos. Anyway, listen up. In the Bible, Romans chapter 1 verse 28 to 32, it addresses us exactly what is happening. John and Sharon have been given over right now to a reprobate mind. Right now they are gossiping, backbiting, slandering, they are speaking lies, they are whispers, you know, and they do not even, they do not only do these things, but they are proud of the fact that they do it. And right now they just dedicate tens and tens of videos in slandering this ministry, it is all based on lies. They invite the goats of Satan to give them clues to break this ministry down. <laughs> you know, I just have to laugh at them. <laughs> anyway, they can't stop doing this. First of all, they are proud of the fact that they do it, and day and night they are inventing, they are inventing evil, you know. <laughs> and it's just, you know, I sometimes I have to laugh at all this stuff that is on, because <laughs> that's going on because it's nonsense. <laughs> and, um, you know, I'm sorry that I have to laugh like this, that I actually have to sing this low as to make this video. but. At this time, they do, they do not even have a teaching anymore. And, um, you know, nothing that they do brings praise, honor, and glory to Yahushua. They are not leading souls to him at this time. They are only interested in one thing, and that is destroying this ministry, which cannot be destroyed because it has been built by the hand of God himself. You know, they have become insane. Now, soldiers of the cross, John and Sharon, Yahushua has told Elizabeth Elijah that you are the ones that are the criminals, not we. You know, you have got things to hide. Why haven't you still, why have you still not told us your real names, you know, where you come from, your ministry, uh, all these questions that we asked you, you refuse to answer them. You just go on rambling and gossiping and, um, you know, just telling the people, don't watch their videos, you know, you know. You may have the time to spend and dedicate 14 videos on the goat of Satan, bringing honor and glory to Satan with your lies, but we do not have that time. You see, we have a ministry at our hands right here that brings souls and honor and glory to Yahushua HaMashiach. Now you have been interviewing this woman Bridget Wilson, who wanted nothing more than attention, and there's so much more that we could say concerning this marriage. Now she is, you know, speaking all this nonsense about her ex-web manager, and how they had a terrific and great and such an amazing marriage. <laughs> you know, some of the things that we have not even addressed yet is that she insisted that they would sleep in separate bedrooms for 17 years, you know. <laughs> they didn't even sleep together. And on top of this, she used witchcraft on Chuck Wilson to get into the country, you know, to use him to get into the United States of America. And, um, you know, there's so much more that I could say. Chuck Wilson hated this woman. And he addressed that to, um, you know, min ministries, associates, and he hated this woman. Once he became a part of this ministry and Yahushua divided him from this woman, uh, he had to have some clothes sent from this woman from the United States. And, uh, you know, he immediately discerned that there was witchcraft on his clothes. He had put law spells on his clothes and he had to burn these clothes. You know, she practiced witchcraft. She wasn't only Catholic. Even, you know, we are not out here to, to destroy someone's character, you know. We are not, I'm not having fun, you know, in doing these things. But the things that we spoke about aren't even the worst things yet, you know. She was a witch, she used witchcraft on him. He had to burn his clothes, you know, and he hated this woman. 
and now she's telling them that they had a great marriage and that the mighty wind, you know, wrecked up their marriage, you know. It is so easy, you know, to do that. And, uh, you know, we are not going to address everything that she spoke because it are all lies and we have got better things to do. As I said, we are concerned in bringing souls to Yahushua HaMashiach. You know, you right now they are inviting everyone. They have a person uh, contacting them whose name is Joy. She's giving them so she's giving them info about this ministry. Um, Joy is betraying us in so many ways. But what they will not tell you is that Joy has got a multiple personality disorder. She has 20 alter egos. Um, you know, she needs deliverance, she refuses to give her life to Yahushua HaMashiach. Each time a different altar would, would contact us, and Yahushua eventually said, let her go. She's playing games, and the devil would use this against us. You know, to blame this ministry for what is going on with this woman. And, you know, look how far it has gotten now. Anyway, Bridget Wilson, the wife of her ex-website manager, was a mail order bride. He hated her. They were unequally yoked. Yahushua divided them. And, uh, you know, later on, he got fired from being the website manager. And the reason why is in the subscription bar. You can visit that link that I put up right there. And you can read the story for yourself. We have no secrets. Everything has been recorded. And the reason why we took that article down that Chuck Wilson was missing is because he had moved. He had moved out. And Bridget and John and Sharon, if you think that, you know, we are going to share with you where Chuck Wilson is, you know, get that out of your mind. Get that out of your mind. We're not going to share with you. It is none of your business. Bottom line is that Soldiers of the Cross, John and Sharon, and such ones as Zachary Laley and uh, Lacey Buddy, <laughs> and all these hypocrites, they are nothing more than gossip mongers. You know, and if you're backing them, then you're in danger. You're in danger of hellfire. You know, there's a special section in hell for gossipers. The Bible warns us, you know, that those who do such things, backbiters, gossipers, whisperers, and all those, you know, that slander and speak evil and invent evil day and night, the soldiers of the cross are right now doing, not even presenting you a biblical teaching anymore, but just out there trying to destroy us. You know, if you, you know, if you do these things and you applaud them, repent, turn away from that sin, I warn you, tomorrow may be too late, and I'm not kidding. You know, there's a special section in hell, as I said, for gossipers. You better be warned from doing all this. You know, this Bridget Wilson has said, you know, that uh, Elizabeth Elijah in that picture that we show you, that she is 20 years old. <laughs> Elizabeth Elijah, 20 years old? How would she know how old Elizabeth Elijah is? And, you know... Elizabeth Elijah has been on the internet for 15 years. How can she be 20 years old in that picture? You know, just, just, you know, ask yourself that question. And how would Bridget know? And, uh, you know, Bridget Wilson said that Elizabeth Elijah has a picture on the website uh, with her cleavage showing. And, uh, you know, <laughs> I feel stupid even having to address this, you know. But this is nonsense. The picture is not even, nowhere to, it's nowhere to be found on the website, you know. Who but a gossiper, a, a heathen busybody, who but a heathen busybody, a comp gossiper, would say such a thing? That she would put up um, a picture with a cleavage showing on the website, you know, to seduce her own soulmate. And, and such, such nonsense these people speak, you know. If, if you are entertained by these people, you are in great danger, and I'm telling you, you know, it's not worth it, your soul. And... We are giving you this warning. If you're watching these Soldiers of the Cross videos, if you're watching Zachary Laley, if you're watching, uh, you know, all these other hypocrites, you are in great danger. So in closing, John and Sharon, why is it that you haven't answered to any of our questions? Why is it that you refuse to give us your full names? Why is it that you refuse to give us your location? Why is it that you refuse to give us your birth of, uh, your date of birth? Why is it that you refuse to give any more details about where you live, how many children you have, about the ministry next to YouTube? Why is it that you cannot bring any kind of uh, proof that you have been on the radio? Why is it that you cannot do all these things? Why is it that you will not answer our questions? We say it is because you have got things to hide and you are the criminals. And prove it that you're not. This is our challenge to you. We are not wasting time on you.